all right welcome back so in the previous uh, video that was a very very trial and error video we saw how wordpress uh, formation cloud formation takes place uh, we did a lot of troubleshooting and finally we were able to get everything up and running now <clears throat> let's uh, go and create a simple wordpress uh, via cloud formation where it will host the uh, it will not create a separate rds instance it will uh, host the database on the ec2 as well so again we'll go to either cloud formation or create stack we will with new resources use a template and we will give it the previous video we used this one where it was a separate rds database instance this one is will be a local mysql database we're gonna click next <clears throat> we're gonna name it word press zero five let's uh, give it the same everything <clears throat> db user as well now key name we're gonna use the third key and we're simply gonna go ahead and launch it so you can see that this time we don't have to worry about the w uh, vpc or uh, subnets because it's not a high availability multi az it's just going to be symbols uh, simple single instance uh, wordpress site so while it's created in progress i'm gonna simply pause the video here so this one was super fast actually you can see create complete and it's only in a couple of minutes everything is uh, com create complete if i go to output i have my wordpress uh, site page it you can see that it went straight and uh, installed it there we, we can go check it out i let's name it this for the username let's put the wordpress db wordpress db and confirm use uh whatever it's saying weak password and my installation should be done and it's done actually let's log in wordpress db so that's how easy it was uh, i am in my uh, like uh, admin uh, page or i'm gonna create a post for the post let's uh, create a title this time let's uh, put aslan hi i am aslan and publish <clears throat> so at my um i oh, i guess i am out of my console if i go to my easy to there will be one instance running and this is the one you can see this one is running t2 small and uh, if i click here the other one will be there that's just terminated um five minutes ago now i'm gonna quickly search how to oh before i do that let me show you the ip address this is a new ip address if i copy it and paste and hit i have my uh, this uh, again the <clears throat> uh, generic page so from the previous video all i have to do is just copy the wordpress folder into my uh, html folder and you know everything will it will be at my um root of my website so that's a uh, real simple if you're not sure uh, watch the previous video of this one i am going to search now uh for the um well actually let's see connect is connection working or not so i'm gonna search how to uh, do that uh, yes it's not working so i'm gonna search how to find out where my database is stored on my local instance but first i have to go and uh, launch up the uh, ssh so let's launch our buddy <coughs> and uh, in the authentication hopefully i have nope i don't so I have the file in there now. Let's go to session. We need the new IP address. That should be this one, public IP address. 
let's put it in here and open right there ec2 user <clears throat> now if i list nothing is in here uh, let's search that uh, the where does now i believe it's a debian base so where does debian store my sql files where lib mysql okay cd slash more slash library slash mysql is there a folder yes there is a folder so if i ls here you can see that i have uh, mysql right here and uh, that's okay so this is where mysql is stored and uh, on a debian that's why i will not find any uh, rds instances if i go to my um, rds or databases for that matter <clears throat> you see i have none here and if i click up uh, is the what is the dynamo there is one manual service um, i don't know what this manual is everything else is subnet groups oh that's different this oh this is resources this is not uh, uh let's check out what is manual uh, snapshots ah snapshots are different these are let's uh, actually get rid of it delete I don't want any charges to occur on my account but yeah that that was it uh, this is uh, if you is buddy still running okay I'm gonna show you quickly how to copy that so basically my uh, the uh, WordPress is actually at this location right now where slash www slash HTML and if I ls here you can see that's why where the WordPress is is all I have to do is copy it copy uh, first this link that will be slash war slash slash html slash wordpress after wordpress is maybe forward slash and static meaning static means that copy everything inside there the new path will be slash war slash www slash html and we're gonna give it uh, this uh, or recursive mean do it do it uh, keep doing it and I have it so now if I go to uh, my IP address that is going to be uh, probably I have yes so if I visit it here my website is now here so that was just needed to done uh, let's wrap this video here I'm gonna take my uh, cloud formation offline while I'm wrapping this video so all you have to do is click delete and it's deleting st stack it's deleting everything that uh, this cloud formation provision you can see that it's kind of a side confirmation that uh, i am receiving because uh, the remote side unexpectedly uh, terminated the connection because the ec2 is gone now if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and i see you in the next one